Hey, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Real Love Guitars. Uh, this is Sam. I'm in the workshop and I have a something that I don't normally do. Um, I'm not sure why, but today I'm going to do this thing called unboxing. I don't know if people do it on YouTube all the time. And um, I'm going to unbox this Harley Benton Telecaster kit just to give you a look at what you get and what it's like. And I think the the reason um well the reason I bought it was just out of interest really they're just really cheap actually they are it's a word you can actually use it's even got some instructions since when did they have building instructions for these things look at that that's that is quite unique I have to say that immediately puts this kit separates it sets, sets it apart from all the other kits online because all the other kits basically don't come with any uh, instructions. Now I appear to be opening this upside down which doesn't seem very sensible. No it's not, they're all in separate boxes. Look at this! Okay well the obvious one, let's have a look at the body. Whoa. This is a Telecaster style or T style kit and uh, what have we got? We have got a very light, well cut, very sharply cut, um, looks quite precise, uh, Telecaster body. Um, holes drilled, <coughs> holes drilled, everything routed as it should be. Neck pocket looks very clean and simple. Um, very light, yeah, but nice. Nothing wrong with that. And actually, that would um, that would show up quite nicely with oil on it. I'm looking for the join here, uh, and I can see there's one join that I can pick out immediately. I think this is two piece. Yeah, that's what I would guess. Oh, my. Yeah, I think it's two piece. That's not bad. Two piece body. There you go. And let's have a look at the neck. This is very nicely boxed. Now the Harley Benton neck comes with a uncut, undesigned sort of paddly end but which we can put a, a telecaster shape onto and make our own if we wish to do so. Um, okay there we have it. A nice maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard. Fairly sm uh, narrow frets which are consistent with the guitar and a quick look down here everything looks in good shape. There's no warping or twisting. A tiny fraction but it's not nothing to worry about. Uh, it's got a little bit of relief, fraction, it's, about, it's actually almost dead flat actually. So very encouraging. Frets all look seated very well. There's a tiny bit of scuffing or chipping to the fretboard there but it's nothing to worry about for the price. Um, feeling it, things that you'd kind of expect like sharp frets. These are even smoother finished than my uh, the Hartley Benton <coughs> Gold Top that I bought couple of years ago uh, and have since set up and sold but you know it's better finished neck than that was this is playable straight away um, but having said that I don't know immediately about the levelness of the frets we can do a quick uh, really simple check Morris has come in to have a look oh yeah Morris you can do a very very simple check I mean this is this is nearly in the horizontal position nearly flat so Wow, that's unusual. Blimey. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay. Um, the tiniest amount of unevenness there. Whoa. This is remarkable. Fraction there. Almost a bit more there. A little bit there. But this is... On the f if I still had the fret leaderboard of shame, this neck right now would have scored 
uh, very highly. In fact, up in the top quarter, no doubt. I mean, this is, I would say this is about 15 to 20 percent maximum uneven frets um, and very mildly so. So that is a really, really good neck straight off. Uh, it's a plastic nut and um, but it's okay. It's well fitted, it's seated in absolutely perfectly and it's got a little overhang. So very nice. Morris has just gone out so I need to shut the door so I don't freeze to death. <coughs> yeah, this, is, this is quality stuff so far. Very very pleased with that. Um, as I say better than a lot of guitars next a lot more expensive. So so far so very good and as I say we have the freedom to make that headstock any shape you wish and then the next bit is of course the, um, the electrics. What I didn't do is check the fit but I'm sure it will be fine I'll let you know if it isn't. <laughs> um, look into all of the gubbins floating about Okay, a few bits slightly loose. We have seal tuners of the bog standard, but fairly decent quality. Nothing worrying about those. Yeah, a little, little bit agricultural, but hey, we'll see. They should, should be all right. We've got some strings with it. We've got a neck plate with a pad. We've got a switch arrangement ready to go. It's got, um, it comes with snap together connectors as opposed to, so it saves you even doing any soldering. Uh, we've got the bridge and the bridge pickup together in one unit, again with connectors, so you don't even have to get your soldering iron out. Well, how about that? And these are pretty standard chromed uh, Two piece saddles, or sorry, three the three saddles each with two strings set on it. So you've got you've got a reasonable amount of intonation control, perfectly enough. Um, it's never been a problem. And here we have the uh, one piece plastic or one ply uh, plastic pit guard with a ceramic magnets. It's all going to be ceramic magnets in here. There won't be any fancy pickups. But again, the reviews on this say that it has a great tone nonetheless. So I won't doubt that. Um, very, very good reviews on this guitar online. So there we have it. Ooh, sorry, a quick, very quick review. Uh, you'll probably see this thing reappear with me doing, setting it up and putting it together. Um, obviously what I, I bought it for is I wanted to see how well, how simply I can do it up as a really loved guitar, but without going into lots of expensive finishing options. So we might find that it's actually good enough to true oil it and um, just really focus on the quality of the setup to make this an affordable uh, Relab style guitar. Because to be honest, if this were, if this, if, if what I read is correct in the in the feedback on these guitars, um, is is correct if it bears out in this case. And uh, put this together really easily, and then put the sort of effort, the time, my time and effort into the setup part of it. Um, and maybe you know do a bit of uh, true oil, which isn't a difficult process. You know, if you just take your time over a few nights, then we could have a, a kind of template reload guitar uh, that that's a really good to quality Telecaster because the, the the focus is on the, the 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 setup. And you know, people do say that in their experience, the pickups aren't bad at all for the price. So a starter Telecaster and a true oil finish for very very little money. Uh, there you have it. Looking good. First impression is good. Um, like I say, the, probably the most important thing of all, the quality of the neck, very, very good on first uh, impressions. And with fewer uneven frets on first glance than most of the quality pricey guitars that have come through the Reloved Guitars Workshop. So that's a, a nice turn up for the book. So I'm impressed so far, you can tell. I've got no affiliation with Harley Benton, by the way. There, in fact, I have no affiliation with anybody and I quite like it that way. Um, yeah, it, I'm just, I tell it as I find it, which um, which is a nice way to be able to be able to do it. But good quality so far, looking forward to putting it together. Hello Morris, you're back. You missed it. Anyway, today I'm getting back to hand carving, doing some drilling out of my homemade oak caster number two. And it's going to get noisy, so you're going to have to clear out. 
but I am enjoying a bit of uh, working with my hands on wood. Okay, and also just another thing in, for Big Steve, uh, with the Harley Benton guitar kit, came the Schaller uh, adjustable bridge. Um, it's a sort of tunematic y style thing. It's not cheap, but it allows me to spread the width of the... Um, I can stagger the spacing of these here strings to the point where, I'll tell you what the measurement is, Morris, I'm freezing. Were you born in a barn? Oh no, you were born in our bed under the duvet, weren't you? Yes. Um, so the dif distance between these is exactly at the most, uh, I got it a bit wrong, I thought it was 61, but it's actually 58, a spread of 58. Compared to, uh, if I put it back in the middle, the normal tunematic spread uh, I'm just guessing this, but it's pretty much accurate. The normal tunematic spread is something like um, 53 or something like that. So we've got another five millimeters width to play with. And this is what I'm hoping to do Big Steve's um, seven string down to six conversion. Don't know if it's gonna work, but it seemed like a good solution for that. So I know Steve's watching with bated breath to see how this turns up. Won't start that until the PV7 string that I bought fairly cheaply on eBay comes through and we'll begin that process later on. Anyway, um, that's it for the unboxing of the Harley Benton Telecaster. So far, so good. Looks really good quality. And three things actually. Four things. No, there's lots of pluses here. First one is two-piece body. Nice and light. Perhaps a bit lighter than I'd like it, but two-piece body. Um, very nicely cut. Nice grain, right? So lots of natural looking potential. Second thing is very good condition neck uh, with a template uh, with a paddle head that you can cut to the your, your own telecaster uh, shape if you want i guess it breaks probably breaks fender what i'm you know trademark for me to even do it but there you go um that's the second thing really really good quality neck less uneven frets than most guitars i've seen through here uh next thing that's really good about it um plug-in electronics so you don't even have to solder it if you don't want to and finally, something that probably makes it stand apart from all the other kits that I've seen, it's got instructions with it, which is unique. I mean, you can get by without it. You can go and look online and there's loads of uh, YouTube videos and, and stuff covering putting together these basic telly kits. But it's pretty good. So, see you soon with an update.